time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. Uh, we're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Hour for October 2nd. S&P up two, NASDAQ up 52, Russell down one, Dow up 53, gold slightly red, silver slightly green, notes and bonds red, 10-year yield up 1%, oil up almost 1%, natural gas up about a quarter of a percent, soybeans slightly red, corn a little bit green, wheat up 2.3%, euro in the pound a little bit red. Bitcoin down 1.3%. VIX just under 19, down 1.6% from yesterday's close. I've been doing a little bicking today. Here's my uh, normal BIX up a little over 550 at this point. Haven't had any double stops. I've got my one of my morning uh, entries is pretty well centered and set up for a max profit if things stay as is. Been doing some price action bix as well, up about 800 on those. Uh, entered a one, two double calendar. It is down a little bit. I was considering adding to it but I've also got one, two DTE exposure on my three, four from Monday. So I'm just going to hold both of those closed out the rest of my five, seven. I entered a, an early Wuga and then price was under my criteria. It popped right up to 0.2% above the open at entry time for my second one, but I really like it you know, 0.3% or above. I kind of relaxed that down to 0.2%, but it was right on the edge. So I just passed on my second one. So just sticking with my early entry that I posted. I uh, did a one DTE this morning and transformed it into a downside vertical for tomorrow. Minimum profit 425, max profit 2,925. I've got a 1DTE from yesterday that I transformed into a double vertical. It's going to have to move somewhere. Otherwise, it's going to hit minimum profit of 620. And I believe that is it for me. Chad, how's your day? Been a good one today. I started off a couple winners day training. Wasn't a ton of opportunity. But got in a couple of mighty 90s that were winners. Uh, one DTE. I uh, closed half at my 25% and then uh, closed the rest of it not too long ago at 50%. So nice winner on the one DTE today. My uh, first TLC trade, 20, 40, 60 and out. My second one, 20, 40, 60 and out. My third one. 20% and I'm about 45 cents away from hitting 40% on that one. So going to be a big green number in TLC 1DTE land today. And then I'm in, uh, let's see, a Wuga that is the, what's that, the uh, 05s and 15s. So, and right now it's sitting pretty dead center. So, 
last 24 hours have been really good. Royals won yesterday. Trading great That's today. Right. One more win. On to the next round. I also got a message recently here that uh, Stone is moving up to varsity, practicing with nice. varsity starting uh, today. So I'm sure he's giddy about that. Hopefully the Royals can pull this one out today. Got a couple tickets for ALDS if they end up winning. Yeah, I've, I've got some tickets as well, so hoping that happens. Yeah. My boys slightly remember 14, 15, not, not a ton. They remember the parade. But it's pretty special to be able to take them to a playoff game. Yeah, I had to show some pictures the other day to remind mine. <laughs> Uh, Chessmaster, yeah, Nike, of course, went down, not up. So that one's going to be a loser. Any earnings today? I didn't check. Let me look here. Tesla is in October. Netflix, October 17th. I don't think so. All kind of later on in October. Yeah, the banks start. The banks are always first, so they'll start in the next week or two. I did do a one DTE. Bick today just to kind of test it. My put side got stopped, so I'm in my call side, so that would benefit from a down move. I've got to remember to close that. So I've really just got this one lot left <clears throat> on one of my price action bicks. I'm just doing these small two and three contracts at a time, kind of tranching in just to get a feel for it. I just posted my um, trade plan for October in the trade plans channel. So I'm going to ride with that last piece and my Wooga. Yeah, Mo, I just posted it earlier today in the uh, trade plan channel. Uh, it's about a four minute video. So just check it out when you can. I mean, it's pretty, pretty big heavy. This is the focus. Pretty much what you've been seeing me do for the last couple of weeks. Wugas, Bix, price action Bix, Mahomes. Nothing uh, too drastic of any changes. I only took one day trade this morning and that was in MU or no Microsoft. Well, mighty 90 did not on that little down move. I did not hit a profit target. And when it made that big push up above 
the uh, kind of above yesterday's lows. I was looking at it as kind of a mighty 90 slash downside continuation runner. When it pushed up there, I just, I just cut it for a small loss. Ended up reversing right after that. I would have uh, well, still wouldn't have hit profit target. But anyway, just took a little loss one and done on the day trade. So not much day trading today. Yeah, there wasn't other a ton stocks. Of yeah, there really wasn't. I'm trying to remember something else I was looking at. I don't remember now. Oh, I was considering a. Uh, a mighty 90 in meta, which would have worked, but I didn't take it. Not really great volume separation, but nice little flush down to yesterday's lows. Ended up chopping for a while and then it would have worked, but I did not take it. Uh, as far as biggest movers today, Peton's up 7%. Jumia up 7 Chinese stocks still pushing. PDD, Baidu, both up over 3.5%. Looks like Baba kind of, uh, Baba's up 1.25%, but lagging, it's... Two Chinese buddies. NVIDIA up one and a half. Netflix up one. Apple slightly green. Amazon tiny green. On the red side, Nike after earnings down 6.8. Somebody took a uh, short Nike. Was that Naughty Dog? So Naughty Dog should have had a winner. Tesla's down over three, but it's it bounced off of its lows quite a bit. Delta down 3%. SPX has been chopping around unchanged all day. Started off red, pushed green. It's kind of oscillated between slightly green, slightly red all day, just pushed back into green territory. NASDAQ pushed up into green territory and has stayed green all day, pushed up, chopped around its upside expected move for a while. In econ news, had a couple of Fed speakers this morning. ADP non farm employment change pre market tomorrow. Unemployment claims pre market ISM services PMI 30 minutes after the market opens. And Bostic speaks at 9 40 a.m. Shows is low impact due to participate in a moderated discussion at the Institute Research Conference hosted by the Federal Reserve Bank of Minneapolis.
And then Friday could see some movement pre-market employment data. Options are giving Friday some weight for sure. Tomorrow's implied volatility, 17.2 versus Friday's sitting at Need prices stayed a little bit closer to 57.10 or lower for my power hour trade. And Wugas. Yep, Wuga, my early Wuga, nice and centered. Yeah. Between 10 and 15 would work. I mean, 05 and 15 for my remaining BICs would work best. What else, my friends? What else? Anything else you guys want to talk about? It's pretty slow action. Red. It was red, chess master. <laughs> uh, I'm getting ready to do my uh, monthly performance report. So look for that. We, I mean, we get we we get the magic. Mahomes another receiver. He'll be right back to where he where he always has been. Exactly. We, uh, you know. These injuries are killing Mahomes. He's feeling it in the tr on the trading floor. He's feeling right. it on the uh, football field. We got to get Devontae Adams. That'd be beautiful. Oh yeah, not gonna happen, but you can always dream. SPX just kind of grinding up the last 30 minutes or so. And he's just start grinding back down. I'd take Amari Cooper. Oh, yeah.
I would take anyone except for Sky Moore at this point. Yeah. <laughs> I did watch a little bit of the pres vice presidential debate last last night, probably about 15, 20 minutes of it. That was a lot better yeah. than the a lot better than the presidential one, you know. That both of them spoke really well. Yeah, I watched some of it too. I I, I agree. Yeah, I mean, they were articulate. They yeah. were cordial. <laughs> it was, it was uh, it'd be nice. It'd be nice to have the the other two do that. I like JD. He's impressive. He's just, yeah. man. He's he's just really. He's just a good speaker. Yeah, he he uh he let the moderator have it once. Yeah. I thought it was awesome. Wuga up twenty four percent. Man, can't even get a response when we bring up politics. Something's wrong with everybody. You guys sleeping? <laughs> Where is everybody? I need, I need a down move. Get somebody fired up. I can get a little bit of a down move here. I'd be able to hit 40% on my power hour, but if it keeps going up, it's keep going against me. Need about three to four points down for sure. Price showed some resistance here once already. Let's see if it isn't able to get through again. Just roll back over. Nice slow roll. Got some decent decay early on the one DTE. If I was still holding, I'd be at about, what is it, 30%-ish of max profit. But I would say there's a little, little edginess out there with all the missiles flying around and all. Holding a little bit of premium. Yeah, and I just ended up hitting my profit target and saying that's good. Uh, Kelvin, the reason I had April is because I, because it was, uh, you know, VIX under 18. There was no VIX under 18 prior to April. Now, actually, now that you mentioned that, I think I, with the, using the update filter, I don't think I, uh, yeah, I don't, there is no VIX filter on it anymore. So, but that's why I, I took the other Wuga, which was, 
you know, low VIX trade. My I had it only trading when VIX was under 18. If you if you put that on there, there's there's just no trades before April of 23, which is why I did that. But um with this current version, yeah, I think it makes sense to go back to see that it didn't perform well back then. Yeah, so what that should tell you is it it really is does well in lower volatility. Cuz when you're cuz when if we get to higher volatility, I'm I'm definitely going to be you know, selling more premium with stops and profit targets and things like that. I mean, we are above 18 now, but. Close to hitting profit target here on my power hour. In about 10 cents. Ten butterfly trading for less than a buck. Yeah, it was right there. <clears throat> My 3-4 from Monday double calendar has just never, never been green by much. It's been kind of up a couple percent, down a couple percent. It's currently red. Take that off tomorrow. For you transformer traders, I am putting together some content for an, another transformer session. Is there anything you guys want to see that I have not talked about yet that you've maybe seen me do, but I haven't really laid it out in detail? Let me know if there's anything. I've got some stuff I'm going to show you, but I've been any, open to any uh 
anything you guys are need to help kind of fill in the gaps there. How to transform VRR. Can't remember exactly what I shared about that. I know I talked about VRRs in the last lesson, but let me double check. I'll circle back on that. Have you watched the last session, Chess Master? Session four, I believe it is. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what all I did. The other thing that I've that uh, has been requested that I'm almost done with is a just kind of a cheat sheet for the different strategies and transforming should be helpful i'll show that in the next session as well here we go just hit 40 percent on my power hour trade Definitely a nice risk reward on the old Wuga today. Max profit twenty four twenty, max loss fifteen eighty. Nothing like a good paint dry power hour. She got some risk on. Uh, Michael Todd, check my trade plan that I just posted. It's on there. Just letting this last one burn down below 10 would be ideal.
So anytime I post a trade plan, Ken, it's a new link. So just use the use the uh, new link. Yep. I will be right back. Chad Moel's asking, do you still have your one DTE open? Uh, no. no. I hit profit target on that. I posted that in my channel. Uh, Shiss, the only thing on the calendar is I'm going to, I'm going to do a little update. Um, I can't remember when I changed it, but on some of the, uh, like on the three, five, three, six, three, seven, uh, I have a later exit time on Monday. Um, but everything I updated the back test, so you'll see it on those, but, um, other than that, I think that was it. I, I got to check my notes. So if there's any other updates, I'll, or even if not, I will at least post that as an update in that channel.
10 butterfly looks like it's trading for a little over a dollar maybe a dollar 20 dollar 15 just hit 60 percent on my power hour trade Let's take the next. I got one contract left because I decided to go for 80%. There, we're getting a little bit of a down move. That helped. Yep, right back to center. We'll go up about 50% now. What time did you get in yours? Got in at one twenty six. I'm going to go ahead and just continue to let this one go until it's time to put on the Mahomes. <clears throat> Chad, are you taking profits on Wooga today or are you letting it ride? I was just thinking about that. I, th I think this wants to go up. Let's see what this next bar goes. Looks like here. Yeah, when in doubt, close some of it. I like that, Moel. I've only got the one on, so I'm going to let mine ride, but I may start doing that when I have two different, the early one and the regular one on, I may start taking partial profits on some of it.
It's nice when they pin, but it's also painful when you have 50% and then you have max loss. Yeah, exactly. And that's what happened to me yesterday. So it depends on what uh, what works better for your mental psyche. The joy of the pin or the pain of the max loss. <laughs> difficult part about it with when it, as far as it playing with your your psyche is sometimes it's just a difference of like a point or two yep which could be the difference in just entering one minute one way or another right Like set fifty seven twelve. Like see it come down and set on about fifty seven ten. Just end completely unchanged for the day. I like that. Yep. always a chance so you're saying there's a chance That 10 butterflies staying pretty cheap still. With uh, 19 minutes to go.
I'll just sit right there. Tick, 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 tick. Seven minutes till MOC. Close this last bit contract at about 60 some percent. Fifteen butterfly trading for about a buck fifty. Yesterday I needed needed an up move and today I need a down move.
Right out of my BIC 1DTE. And my last contract, my power hour trade got stopped. Would have been best just to go 60 and out. Working a 15 butterfly. We're kind of 10, 15, and 20. Like the 15s are trading for a little over a buck 50, maybe a buck 60. Less than two minutes till MOC. Luga would prefer to stay between 10 and 15. Twenty seconds till MOC. Seven hundred and forty million to the buy side. So pretty small MOC. My Wuga's at 55%. Right between the 10s and 15s.
15 fly looks like it's trading for about a buck 70. Eight minutes to go. Pushing up towards 15. Still between the tens and fifteens. Yeah, nothing different, uh, Moel. Jay Russell did not talk about oil, no. Yeah, premiums are definitely juiced in there. My short premium position is still well-centered, but it's pumped a little premium in there. Get down closer to the tens. Tens are still only trading for a buck sixty. Need to hover near a strike. Uh, Benji, I haven't looked at a ATR filter now. Less than five minutes. Tens are still staying cheap, getting close to two bucks. Nibbling, nibbling on my tens. My bot got filled on the tens. Nibbling on some more tens. There we go, filled on the tens. All right, now let's push above 15 and then settle just below 15. Or even better, we could go down and touch 05 and then come back up. Three and a half minutes. Go to work, Mahomes.
need a move away from 10. Two minute warning. Yeah, I guess you just you would have to manually track that and track your data on the ATR. One minute. So hanging around 10. Need a move. Down to oh eight, oh nine. A few seconds. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, chess master. Chess master. Unchanged. Said it could never happen. It happened. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll get for the win. Mahomes for the loss. Not quite a pin in Wooga. Mine's it. Mine needed to be above 10, but pretty close. Bix did well. A little over 2,400 on Bix. Price action Bix did well. So, really, the only loser, Mr. Mahomes. And All you're right, all. losers today. Nice. Go Royals. Go Royals. Uh, tomorrow's live stream, I will be trading. I will be streaming at the open for day trading. And then we will be back for power hour. Take care, all. Have a good night. Cheers.